Hello everyone, my name is Mateo Salvador. Welcome to SimRail. This is a game that is releasing on January 13th, 2023. Now I should make it clear before we start playing, there are currently two versions of the game that you can play. There is the prologue, which anybody can download, and there's also the playtest. In order to get the playtest, you have to request it. I have put in a request to get the playtest, however, I have not been accepted yet. So until then, I have decided to download the prologue, and jumping in, we have some interesting things here. We only have access to Train Driver. Um, I know that if you get the playtest, you do get access to Dispatcher and Multiplayer also. I'm not sure about the Depot. Now, I should also admit, I had no interest in this game until a couple days ago. Well, yesterday for that matter. Uh, yesterday, I was on YouTube, and a guy called Sean Mural, who did some Run 8 stuff earlier this year, was doing a live stream of the game, and I think it's jumped to the top of my list. Uh, so, without further ado, let's get into this. But, let's just try out Train Driver and see what there is. I'm gonna click on it, and we have two places here. Select Scenery, select Scenario. Okay, so we're on Scenery here. We have Kautavice to Warsawa, which, uh, I'm gonna assume Warsaw, that's the capital. Or we have uh, Katowice to Sedzizaval. No, Sed I don't even know how to say it. Sedzizaval, that's how I'm going to say it. Sedzizaval. Sedzizaval. Sorry, no, it's not Val, it's Sedzizalv. Sedzizov? Sedzizov. I don't know. If there's anybody in the comments that wants to help me pronounce that. Um, okay, so how about we do this one? Rail Line 1 is 360 kilometers, runs between Warsaw and Kantawavice. I don't know, you know, it doesn't matter. Maximum speed of this line is 160 kilometers. One of the main coal export lines in Upper, upper Silesia, the most industrialized part of Poland. The maximum speed on the route. Okay, how about we do this one? This one looks a lot more interesting. Um, okay, so we have access to one train engine. This Now, this is the prologue. We do have access to one train engine. And that's that one, the E-186. Okay, cool. 50 minutes. All right. S okay. Required level one. And it has a level four difficulty. Okay. All right, let's get into this. See what it has. Did you know that most we most rail vehicles use wheels consisting of two parts? The proper wheel, which is located in the middle, and the repa replaceable rim. This is to reduce operating costs when worn. That was loud. <laughs> when worn, only the blah. Okay. Wow, look at this. Okay. Welcome to the prologue of SimRail, the railway simulator. Wow. You are in the heart Look of Upper Silesia, this. located in the south of Poland, the most industrialized part of the country. The coal mined in this region has fed many power plants for decades, and the steel produced in the local steel mills was used as the building material for many facilities. In the front of you, you can see a trucks locomotive with a freight train loaded with a coal for one of the power plants in eastern Poland. You will lead it on a section from I need to Stachitz change one of my settings and I'm afraid of it to the Sosnowitz Dandówka station. Perform your task carefully and admire the industrial landscape. All right. To enter the locomotive, approach it and click on the doors or press one on a keyboard. Okay, got it. All right. Well, you know what? Before we get in the train here, I do just want to take a look. Look at how beautiful this looks. Can we can we crawl under here? Oh, I can. Look at this. I can actually interact with this. Oh, look at this. Um. Okay. Uh, that was a little scary. I'm going to connect the brake hose. Now, what happens if I disconnect all? Okay, it also disconnects that. Oh, look at that. Okay. Let's connect all. Wow, look at this. That's actually really, really cool. Right. Huh. Is that supposed to be coal? Why, why is that coal loaded so weird? Huh. Can, I really want to climb. Can I... There's a ladder right there. I think I can climb it. No, there's a ladder right here. I want to climb. No, I don't want to disconnect that. All right. Well, I guess we'll enter the train here. So if I go to the door and I hit open door, that... Oh, look at that. Can I climb up now? Can enter the locomotive approach it. Oh, okay. And then once you do that, you can... Oh, wow. Look at this. All right. Turn and I can walk around the cab. Let's shut the, the door. Seat with a switch on the rear wall of the cabin. Oh, transition to the other cabin. Turn oh. on the battery and activate the driver's seat. Well, I don't think this is where I want to be. Hold on. Of the cabin. I want to go. Wow. Okay. I do appreciate the fact Turn that they the allow you. And activate the driver's seat with a switch. 
I do appreciate the fact that they allow you, excuse me, they allow you to interact with other elements. Um, you know, there are some games where they kind of force you to follow a train track, right? And like everything else is disabled. But like here, I can interact with stuff. And I actually really like that. Shunting handle. LZB alerter. I think this is the Fontographs. And, uh, no, not Fonto. It's Pantographs, right? Can I open the window? Oh, look at that. That's amazing. Okay, can't interact with that. Open and close doors. Okay, horn doesn't work. I'm going to assume that's because we need power. What can I interact with here? LZB active. That's nothing. Windscreen heating. This. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, uh, let's enable the battery. Activate the cab by turning the switch clockwise. Oh. Use the button or a spacebar on the keyboard to deactivate the CA SHP security system. These systems will regularly oh. check your alertness while driving. To sit on the driver's seat, press on it. Huh, okay, so I'm standing here and I can actually interact with cab elements while I'm walking around. That is interesting. Alright, let's take a seat. I love the animation so far. This looks really Our good. Our vehicle is powered by electricity from overhead contact line system. So it's necessary to lift the pantograph. Uh, necessary to lift it. So let's lift it lower. Wait. Oh! Lower. Oh, okay. So I have to do this until it makes contact. I wish there was a mirror. Now, close the quick circuit breaker. Okay. Wait for a quick circuit breaker to close. And also wait for the converter and compressor to start. The okay. correct operation of these devices is necessary, for example, to supply the braking system of a train. Okay, so now I have to move this up. No, I have to click that. Okay. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Okay. It may take a long time to loosen up the brakes. To speed this up, you can hold the lever in a filling position with an increased cross section. You hold the lever in the filling position. Oh, there we go. Is that is that doing it? You can hold the lever to sit on the driver's seat. I know. Seat. Hold on. Oh, okay. So E to sit also It works. may take a long time to loosen up the brakes. To speed this up, you can hold the lever in a filling position with an increased cross section. Huh? What does that mean? Increased cross section. What does that mean? Okay, so that's filling, I assume, right? I, I assume that's what it's doing? Now, the train brake test will take place. The auditor will check if the all cars have working brakes. Okay. Follow his instructions via radio. Okay, now we get to learn how the radio works. What? What does it want me to do? Move the brake lever to the brake position. Okay. Wait, but isn't that that? What, what's the brake position? I assume? Oh, it's that. Okay, good. Maintain brake force. All right, good. I'm, I'm learning here. I, I learned what they mean. Okay, so now what? So I guess we're testing the brakes now. Oh, I guess I just did it. Move the brake lever to the drive position. Oh, okay. I guess I just did it. They wanted me to put it in emergency? Okay, that makes sense. So now he wants me to put it in the drive position. Sorry, I had to lower the audio because that was really loud. Okay, so he wanted me to put in the drive position. Let me increase the audio again, because that was really loud, and I want you to hear me. Is that is that it? He wanted me to put in the drive position? Now what? Is that what that does, maybe? Maybe the high flow charge is what he meant when he said hold it there? Oh, maybe that's what he meant. Okay, so... Brakes are all Use good to go, according to the guy who I'm guessing is dispatching. Now what? The train dispatcher. What about the train dispatcher? Okay, now what? Now what? Oh, he wants me to hit three. Okay. Ah. Train 414018, Starship's go, mine dispatcher, radio check. 414018, good radio. Wow, look at that. I have 25 cars, 2,000 tons, length of 370 meters, one locomotive E186134, driver Stevenson, ready to depart. That's us, driver Stevenson. My name is Pelan, readiness number is 27. 
Why did he tell us his name? Press on your chair or use the E key to get up. What does he want me to do? Readiness number 27. Now what? Before oh. you'll be able to go, we need to release the parking brake. This button is placed just behind you on the rear wall of a cabin. There we go. To sit on the driver's seat, press on it. Okay, got it. We're, we're moving somewhere now. Move the lever forward to apply power and go. Alrighty. Um, okay, so how do I do this? Wants me to move. Oh. Gotta say, the audio setting is... Audio is a tad loud in this game. So if I hit... I have to hold? Okay, let's just give it maximum power then. Here, um, let's give the horn. How, what's the horn? Uh, that? I gotta say, the audio is a little bit loud. I currently have the audio set to 16%. I had it set to 60. <laughs> Alright, let's get going. What? Chewbacca. Chewbacca. What? I heard Chewbacca. What is that? Okay, what just happened? Huh. I don't know what just happened. Okay. I guess I have to fill this back up again. All right, let's try this again. Okay. Wait, can I... Let's just get max power here. Now, if I hear Chewbacca, I'm going to assume that that's the alerter. Okay. We're moving. I'm learning here. <laughs> Look at this. Now, may maybe I was wrong on that. Because isn't there supposed to be like a little thing up here when the alerter starts? I didn't see anything on the screen that would indicate that we had an alerter. Can I turn this on by any chance? Chewbacca. Oh, yeah. Okay, that was the alerter. Why does it say Chewbacca? All right, we're going to turn that way. Here we go. Yay. Now, nice thing is, is that when you are out of your cab, um, you can actually see up here when you're getting an alerter. So, let's just watch this. Alright, sounds are actually not that bad. Look at that. Stop, you're too far from your vehicle. Alright, man, I just gotta keep adjusting this audio. It's like, when you're in the cab and nothing's running, the game is fine. But then, like, the, the train itself is very loud. I would take the time, like, right now I have it set, uh, the audio, to 18%, and it's still pretty loud. So, I know I could just go into the actual settings and change that, but... Oh, crap, I just lost... Sorry, my bad. I just lost my volume mixer, which is what I'm using to adjust audio. I know I could adjust it in-game, but it's easier just to use my volume mixer. Because then I can go in here and I can just change all the sound at once. Instead of having to go in and try to, you know, change sounds that way, I can just do it here with one button. So that's, that's why I use this. And I just lost... Open Broadcaster, we have a rail crossing. What is that? No idea what that was. That was a little scary. We have an orange light. Um, all right, so I'm going to... That was, was that an orange light? Wow, look at the cabin sway and everything. Oh, that's really cool. Can I... Okay, that's... I'm gonna assume that means we can go by. 
What's the what, what's how fast are we going? We're going about 80 kilometers now. I think we're going downhill because we are speeding up very slowly. Oh, now we're slowing down. Oh, we're going 70. Yeah, 75. Oh gosh, I ran a red signal. Uh oh. Oh, we're 10 minutes late to this station here. Aww. All right. Well, here we go again. Um, I would like to point out that the speed limit is 19 miles an hour. Why? Why is the alerter so creepy? <laughs> Uh, all right, how do I... All right, I want to... Oh, I need to break the train. Is that how I break? No, it's that, right? Local braking. I'm going to assume that local braking... I'm going to assume that local braking is basically the in independent brake. And I assume that the service brake would be the whole train, right? Now, we do have to be careful, I think, in... One mile, we have a red light. So let's actually. Oh crap! That's not what I wanted. I'm really sorry. I didn't mean to do that. Oh crap! I just put on the emergency brake. Whoopsies! My bad. My bad. All right. Look. <laughs> All right. We should be good to go now. Now, if I hit plus on my keyboard. This will actually operate the drive handle. Why are we going in reverse? Huh, what's going on? We're going in reverse. I don't think that's a good thing. Um, if I put the local brake... Okay, that brings us to a stop. No, that doesn't bring us to a stop, actually. I would say that doesn't look like a good thing. Um, hmm. That's actually not good. Yep, uh, where is our anti-slip deals? Um, all right. All right, let's just try to break this thing. It's Stop. Oh, man, that's terrible. Now, see, all I wanted to do was slow the train down, but no. See, this is where a rear DPU would actually be really good. <laughs> Where's our DPUs? Do, do, can, 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 can we please have DPU? Okay, well, we are starting to move forward. Um, let me see. If I give the train sand, will this help us? Because I'm going to assume that this is the track. That's not traction? No. I mean, we are moving forward, so that's, you know, that's a good thing. What happens if I hit... Okay, that doesn't do anything. Okay, I'm just gonna say, hey, we have an emergency. <laughs> well, there we go. We're now off again, so that that's, that's a good thing. Well, that took... Definitely took its time. Sounds like it's crying. It's struggling and the horn is it's, is the train crying. Oh, that's really sad. Well, we're moving now, so that's good. And the speed limit's only 19, so... <laughs> I don't think we'll go past any red lights today. Now, I wonder... Do you think that maybe putting the train with on full power wasn't a good thing? Maybe if we had gradually worked up then it would have helped. Or maybe not. I don't I don't know. I'm going to assume braking couplers is maybe not modeled into this game. Because <laughs> if this was run 8, we definitely would have just broke a coupler then. And do these trains not have anti-slip? Um, I know that in American trains, uh, or at least North American locomotives, for that matter, um, there is a like anti-slip thing. And so if you're going up a hill and you're maybe, you know, you're slipping, this anti-slip thing stops the wheels from turning um, faster than you're moving. So you don't, you know, you don't grind the rails. Now, is that the red light just there? I'm going to assume it's not. We're only going 19. And I am a little nervous to let off the brake here. Tupac, why is this so creepy? <laughs> All right, I'm going to assume that's the light. Is
Is that the light there? That's the light there. That's the light not there. That's not the light. That's not the light. Okay, the light is coming up. So, let's just maintain this speed of 16 miles an hour. And we'll be very careful as to not, uh, not do anything bad. Now, does plus... What is that? Cruise control handle. Maintain... I like that to be there. Okay. What is the uh, what is the brake then? I thought. I guess the brake's nothing. So plus and minus on the numpad works the drive handle. I'm not sure what works the brake. Oh, that's not. Is that it right there? No, that's not the signal. No. I remember we passed a couple signals before we got to that red. Is that the red? Not the red. That's the not the red. That's that's a railroad crossing, Mateo. I'm going to put it to that. That's the signal. Is that the signal just there? I'm a little bit confused because we have this like... Oh, that's the signal just there. Okay. So... Let's be very careful. See if <laughs> I wish I knew the control to operate this service brake. All right, uh, let's give the train some power here. Actually, you know what? Maybe we don't. Maybe we don't do that. I just want to go past the signal here. All right, I'm gonna bring the train to a stop. Okay, so now the train is at a stop. Now what? Now what? Oh, okay, um, well, that was a little weird. So I just hit three. It never told me to do that, but I just toned up the dispatcher and they started talking, so. Press on your chair or use the E key to get up. Okay, so they want us to get up now. I'm going to change the audio. Sorry if the audio is a little quiet. Are we moving? We're not moving. I want to stay stop. So let's just do that. Okay, now what? Set the headlight switch to the fifth position, indicating signal PC2. The switch is located on the rear wall of the cabin. We use the setting of the headlight during every drive on the left track. Okay. I put it to five. Okay. Now what? And we now have a green, uh, well, not a green signal. It's more, what is that, restricting? Um, all right, so let's get the brake off here. And let's give the train some power. We'll just give it maximum power here. Now, is there a way for me to, no, okay, guess not. Please say we don't roll backwards. <laughs> I guess we're not going to roll backwards. We're just going to stay here. There we go. And we're rolling. Nice. Oh, gosh. Let's fly around and take a look at this. Is this has this signal changed yet? No, the signal is the same. Why is that? I mean, I get why that one's blinking, but... Huh. Oh, look at that. That's like an LED screen telling us where we're going. So, okay. We're going on the left. Got it. Sorry, Mateo's understanding how this game works now. Now, question is, do these signals change? Oh man, seven minutes late. Do you think that the signals only change when the last car passes the signal? I don't know, I'm just curious, because that, you know, that signal's still blinking there. Oh crap. I'm gonna keep that on zero, because I don't wanna, I don't wanna speed in here, do I? <laughs> Now, this is going to kill me, I know that. But I'm really curious as to if this signal will change. Oh, don't worry, we're going straight. Yeah. Okay, don't worry, we're going straight. It's fine. Mateo just wants to look at this. Will the signal change to red? No, it doesn't. Okay, never mind. 
I wonder if this signal then is just... It's preparing us for this one. Like, do you think that's maybe what it is? Oh, no, see, it's still blinking. That's weird. I, I don't understand signals. These are European signals, and I don't understand them. Oh, this sounds amazing. Is this the uh, dispatcher here? Oh, man, I can't wait to get access to the playtest and learn dispatcher and everything. Oh, that's going to be a blast. Uh, hello? 41, 14, answering. Did I do that by pressing 3? I'll send you to Staviska on the left track. Okay. Oh, good. Look. He's just given us an orange signal. Awesome. That's actually really cool. So, I, I know that multiplayer is already a thing. And honestly, you do not know how much I'm itching to try that out. <laughs> Oh, this could be a lot of fun. I'm really excited to see where this goes. We got like a little motorway right there. What's that? Little uh, motorway. Oh, even car traffic. Are there people in the cars? Uh, nope. Driverless cars are upon us. All right, speed limit is now 32 miles an hour. Nice. What is this? 2% grade, I assume? I'm kind of scared to give the train any more power, but perhaps that wouldn't be a bad idea. I mean, for the record, the um, the next signal, the next signal that we have is orange. Oh gosh! So there's a change in audio all of a sudden. Okay, we're moving. Is what is this? Oh, tr oh, train line. They are kind of abandoned. Okay. Speed limit has just changed to 25 miles an hour. Okay, we can go past that. Now, orange signal, I'm going to assume we can go past as well. Green light. It's a green light. Okay, never mind. Why did the game have me that worried? <laughs> Is that a red signal? That's not a signal, right? That's not a signal. It's just a sign. Okay. So, where are we going? We are going that way. Hey! Oh, crap. Um, I'm really hoping that the game doesn't freak out on the fact that we're speeding. It'd be a wee bit concerning. But we are also going uphill. Um, Alright, I'm going to set that back to driving. Nice. Okay. Let's give the train some power, because we're about to stop on a hill, which is not what I want to do. Go, train, go, because we're now stopped on a hill, and this is not good. Go, 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 go. We're not rolling backwards. Maybe we're fine. Maybe we're fine. Are we fine? I don't know if we're fine. Um, I'm stopped on a hill. <laughs> Okay, we're kind of fine. I mean, we're not rolling backwards. Well, we are now moving. Um, okay, I'm going to decrease power here. Although, I don't know if I should. We're okay, yeah, I'm going to decrease power. Okay, set that to zero. Because now we're maintaining 34, 35 miles an hour on a 32. Which, I don't think it's so bad. It doesn't look like the game freaks out when you're speeding. The only concern, I guess, is do we derail? Because <laughs> if we derail, that's not a good thing. Is there a dynamic brake on this? I don't know if there is. Because if there was, I would just use the dynamic brake instead of this. Okay. There we go. So that's going to help us at least maintain speed. Okay. 19 miles an hour is now the speed, which is not necessarily beneficial to anybody. All right. We're just going to carefully slow it down here. Ooh, there's a tight turn up there, making me a little nervous. 
Okay. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Please don't stop. Keep going. Keep moving. Okay, we're fine. I think we're okay. The alerter pops up. I kind of wish my rail driver worked. This would make things really nice. Because then I would map this to my rail... I mean, I could probably do that, but that might be a little bit complicated since it's not technically... I wonder if it ever will be. Will rail driver be like... What's the term I'm looking for? Um, uh, supported in this game. It'd be kind of interesting. I mean, I guess you have the, the drive handle. That could be the throttle. Independent brakes. I mean, I, I guess it's fine. Only thing we're missing is... Oh, cab light. Oh, look at this. Oh, that's not what I wanted, actually. Oh, instrumental lighting. Here we go. That's what I wanted. Ah, okay. Uh, game, can you please give us power? Now that turns it off. Okay, what happens if I move it towards me? Okay. So we could either have it up or we could have it down. Is one brighter than the other? Oops. Okay, I'm going to guess it doesn't matter. Cool. Let's just get moving then. It's okay. We're fine. Are we fine? I think we're fine. Huh. Is that a... That's a... Uh, whatchamacall light? Uh, it's like a, uh, a marker light. I've never understood this. It's, it's never really made sense why this it works like this. But whatever. I've seen this in, like, you know, train sim and stuff. That's cool. Alright, let's decrease power here because I think we're starting to go downhill or... Well, as I said that, we started losing speed. Yep, we're going downhill now. Oh, electrodynamic braking power. There we go. That's the dynamic brake. Oh, I, sh I need to test that out. So we do, in fact, have a dynamic brake here. I should have just read. Why, why, why does Mateo not read? Mateo doesn't read for whatever reason, and then things like this happen. So instead of using the train brake, we could just use the dynamic brake. Um... Which, if you don't know what the... Well, it says electrodynamic brake, which is a little bit different than the way it works on North American locomotives, I think. All right, next time we go downhill, we will try this and see what happens. Are we going downhill? I God, my dog scared me. <laughs> and she falls asleep. Weird. She was just kicking her head and scratching her ear. And now, now she's not. All right, let's test out the dynamic brake. So if I do this. Oh, look at that. Oh, crap. That's not good. Oh, it's because the stupid alerter. The stupid alerter started activating the brake. No. No, and now we're stopped. <sighs> Mateo, why? I got so excited about using the dynamic brake, I totally did not notice the fact that... <sighs> well, here we go. We're moving again. <laughs> I gotta say, I'm really enjoying this so far. Stupid alerter. I hate the alerter. Is there a way to, like, just, like, punch the alerter in the face or something and, like, say, hey, no... You're not going to alert me to the fact that the train is moving. I'm awake. I'm alive, alerter. I mean, I suppose... Ugh, I don't know. You know what it is? In this game, it's a guy going Chewbacca, Chewbacca, Chewbacca. Versus in Run 8, it's like this annoying beep, 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 beep noise. That's why I don't think about it. The Chewbacca totally just... No. It needs to be an annoying beep. I mean, in the in the event that the alerter goes off for real and you fall asleep while you're operating, wouldn't you want to have a really annoying beep? Wouldn't that wake you up? 
versus Chubak. Chubak. I mean, in my in my opinion, it it sounds kind of creepy the way the guy says it. I would start to dream that I'm getting possessed by a demon. Um, Chubak. Chubak. I don't know. Alrighty. Um, well, that's cool. Maybe we can use the dynamic break for real now. <laughs> All right, good. We just passed a green signal, and apparently we have two miles to go until the speed goes down to 12, which is a little bit concerning. So, wow, look at this. I almost feel like I'm in... Uh, what's that game that I started playing? Um, what game did I recently play? Uh, la, 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 rolling Line. I feel like this is something straight out of Rolling Line, to be honest. <laughs> oh, wow, look at this. Oh, it's like an old train track. Like, look at, look at the, oh. Like, look at how that track looks. How, like, everything's crooked. And then just take, oh, I guess that's also crooked. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, oh, that's really cool, but that looks just as crooked. Or maybe not. Oh, no, it's not. But look at how nicely maintained that is versus that. That is kind of cool. Alright, so I'm going to assume we're now on flat ground. More alerter! Maybe I should just spam the space bar now. <laughs> oh man, I, I'm having a really good time. Hopefully you are. If you're enjoying it, make sure to give it a like, and I will make sure to make more of this. We have another orange light in 24 miles. Um, 24 miles. No, the speed limit's going to go down to 24. Alright, let me get the, the brake on here. Okay, let's just see what happens. It's like the Jake break. Huh. Well, the thing is, I... Okay, it is kind of slowing me down. I mean, I guess... Alright, let's just use this because we're maintaining speed right now. In two miles, I mean, in two and a half miles, we go back to 43 miles an hour. Or we go up to 43. Alright, I'm just going to keep the train like this and we're going to see what ends up happening. Chubak. Enough. Excuse me. Enough with your Chubak. Why do I want to do that? Why, why do I want to do that? Okay, I don't know how I feel about this. Um, okay, I don't know how I felt about doing that while we were moving. <laughs> that was a little scary. Please say we don't derail. Okay, we're good. We're not derailing. I'm a little bit concerned about the speed. All right, let's give the train some break here. All right, we're going to turn the dynamic brake off because... All right, we're, we're maintaining 19 miles an hour, which is not terrible. It's better than what we were doing. We're going uphill. Why are we going so fast? I mean, why are we not decreasing speed, right? I don't understand. I mean, maybe this is... Maybe it's flat. <laughs> maybe this is flat ground and I just for some reason think we're going up. Doesn't it look like we're going up? We are definitely going up. Like, this is definitely an uphill section, I think. Ah, maybe it's not. Maybe it's not, because now that I look at it from here, it almost looks like we're going downhill. But then I looked at it from here, and it looks like we're going uphill. Do you see this? What is this madness? Can I, please? All right, I'm going to assume we're going downhill. See, none of this tells me enough information. Oh, I just clicked something. What the heck? I don't know what this does. 
I don't know what this does. Okay, that does that. I don't know what... Okay. Siek. Okay, that does that. Huh? Huh. What happens if I... I don't know what that does. I'm not going to play with it. <laughs> All right, well, we're moving here. Um... Now, another minor detail, but something I would like to point out is the change in ties. Wooden ties versus the concrete ties. Look at that. It's kind of cool that they've modeled that in. Um, around where I live, they don't actually use concrete ties. Um, we always have wooden, wooden ties. Um, the only concrete ties I've seen are on the metro. Um, Alright, I don't like the fact that I just lost everything. What did I... What are, oh, F1. Wait, hello, can I just keep... Ah, F1 gets rid of the this. That's actually really good to know. Um, we're maintaining 15 miles an hour now, and that's probably a good thing. Huh, the lights are off. I feel like that's a little concerning. Um, why are the lights off? Did, did I unintentionally do that? Light mode. When we want it on one? Hold up. No, lights are still off. What 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 did I accidentally do that turned the lights off? Wait, hold on. If I turn it to five. We're only going 16 miles an hour. Oh, crap. In a mile. Oh, that's off. I don't know why that's off. Um, in a mile, we're going to have a red signal. I'm not too concerned about it since it is a mile away. Okay, did I activate the spring brake? Uh, I do like the fact that I can, um, <laughs> that I can, uh, activate the, uh, alerter from, st while I'm standing. What? Sensitivich, uh, let's, uh, okay, hello? 41, 14, 18, answering. Maybe I don't need to have the game so quiet, sorry. Don't worry, Mr. Um, don't worry, sir. It is already on my wish list. All right, maybe I don't need to have the audio so quiet. Sorry, Paranoid Mateo. Sorry, stupid Chewbacca. Uh, stupid Chewbacca guy. All right, you know what? Let's, uh, let's try this again. Speed limit's 13, we have an orange light. For whatever reason, the lights are off. And I want to say... Huh. What Was it... This, maybe. Signal lights. Huh. No, okay. What did I do... Why did those turn off? Speed limit's also up to 25 now, which is really good. Hmm. Something that I did turned the lights off, and I don't understand what. Winds... What? Washer? That doesn't do anything? Windscreen heating. Huh. No idea what I did. Maybe I... L? I mean, that would be the obvious answer for lights, right? Alright, I'm sorry if the game's too loud now. I have decided to take the audio up because Paranoid Mateo. I'm now on 25%. Um, so I do apologize if you couldn't hear the game at all. On my end, it's very loud. Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Nope, not getting caught by Chewbacca today. Ah, oh, a little railroad crossing right there. Now, huh. Well, maybe that. Maybe I hit something. Huh. Oh, look at that. I, fixed it. I figured it out. Okay. <laughs> ah, I figured it out. Okay. 
There we go. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, okay, apparently that's how lights work. Why would they do it that way? Come on now. How is that? How does that make sense? I mean, I, I would have expected a switch. I mean, if you're just going to have the lights on a computer, why not put all these buttons onto the computer here? Why not remove the levers and put them on a little touchscreen monitor at that point? It makes no sense. Sorry, maybe I'm a little too old school, okay? <laughs> Crap. We have a uh, red light coming up. Making Mateo a little bit nervous here. Can I please just put that in neutral? Okay. All right, put that to there. Uh, 4,000 feet to go, so it's just up there somewhere. I am going to... I'm going to be a little bit cautious as we do this. Let's not derail the train, shall we? There we go. So, no, no Chewbacca. He says, like, Chewbacca. I'm not sure what that means. If anybody knows what the guy is saying, like, is he saying, alerter, alerter. If he is, he needs to sound a little more angry. You know what I mean? He's a little too calm about everything. Okay, we're going that way. Can you put down MOW signs? If you can do that, that'd be pretty cool. Where is this the power plant just here? Ah, I'm going to assume that's the power plant, maybe? I mean, that looks like it could be. Alright, we're just slowly moving here. Wow, look at this bridge. What is that? What are those for? Huh. Interesting. Oh, is it so you can't jump on the tracks? I would assume so, but that makes no sense because I don't see why you couldn't just... I don't know. Hmm, weird. Alright, well, we're approaching. Uh, look at this. I gotta say, this was pretty cool. Um, being able to run these locomotives. And I know that in Train Some World and stuff like that, they did have these locomotives. Um, I've never really ran them, though. Uh, so this is, this is something totally new and different. It is kind of cool to learn them as well, so. I don't know. Um, with dispatching and multiplayer, could this potentially become the European version of Run 8? I mean, this one has really good graphics and all. Run 8 is very in-depth. Um, I wouldn't compare the two personally. I think they're very different games. One's North American. This one's obviously European. But could this almost become like the European version of Run 8? be kind of interesting to see. All right, I'm going to put the brake on here. And uh, we'll bring the train to a stop. Hello? Oh, cool. Scenario completed. Nice, and we were late. Although, we were actually on time. Look at that. So, six minutes late to Stasik, uh, six minutes late to Katowice, uh, and then Kat Katowice uh, Janwo. Hano? Hano? Hanaope? Hanaope? Three minutes late, and then to Stavitska, St Stavitska? Stavitska Podge. One minute late, and then to Sosnovic, Sosnovic? Sosnovich? I don't know. Sosnovich? Dondavka. <laughs> we're negative three. We're three minutes early, which is actually pretty cool. 52 minutes. Very nice. Alrighty. Well, I guess we'll go to the main menu. I think... I don't know how it's going to work later. Is it going to be like free roam? I Obviously, I know barely anything about this game. But is it going to be free roam? Or is it going to be completely mission-based? Like... Can I go into the freight yard, pick up a train, and go, or is it just going to be missions? I don't know. I guess we'll have to see. That could be really cool. Anyways, that's going to do it. Thank you for watching this episode of um, SimRail. We're going to come back, and we're going to try this other scenario, the Katowice to Warsaw. Um, I assume that it's a passenger train, and um, we go 160 kilometers an hour, so that could actually be a lot of fun. Um... But yeah, that'll be in the next episode. Hopefully I can get the playtest. If I get the playtest, we're going to hop on multiplayer. We're going to check out everything else. Might even be a live stream. I don't know. But until then, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. See you later. Peace.